My name is Ozias Sanu and I am senior scientist at INERA, that is a research institute in Burkina Faso, focusing on environment and agriculture. My research concerns parkland management for food crops production improvement. Parklands are agriculture area where trees are present on the field. The reason for having these trees in the agriculture are that they give benefit to the people such as fruits and fodder. It also improves the productivity in the field by helping the rain infiltrate to the ground water. One great challenge in managing these parklands is to maintain tree diversity and tree high density without reducing food crop production. My involvement in agri 2030 started with my participation in the course Translating Science into Policy and Practice that took place in Nairobi in 2017, where I practiced on how to communicate research and how to find the right person to talk to. After this course, I started a project together with colleagues in Burkina, focusing on management practices of parklands. I have also been involved in the agri pilot activity, focusing on the role of women in the production of Shibeta, which is called Women Gold. Because she not are the main source of revenue for women in most rural areas in Burkina Faso. At the end of phase one, me and my colleague Hugh Bazier develop and test a meeting structure that we have called Innovative Platform for Parkland Management. In this meeting, we have a structure for dialogue around management practices in the parkland among stakeholders such as scientists, farmers, extension workers, local government officials. The interests of these meetings were overwhelming. We even had a meeting where we were interviewed on the radio in Burkina which gave us the chance to talk about parkland management to a large audience. We will continue working on the dialogue platform since it seemed to be a good arena for science to be transformed into practices. During agri 2030 Phase 2, we will continue to develop the parkland management project within the agri challenge agriculture, productivity, and ecosystem function. One of the key issues we would like to transform and help farmers with is agroecological practices that contribute to intensified food crop production on parkland. Thought is very really important, especially for the farmers. Um, we can say like the goat is a cattle for the poor farmer. Goat can be their income, can be can improve their livelihood. Goat is very really important and it's very really easy to listen. Women and children can take care on that. So that's why the goat is very really important and very really, um, interesting to support and the farmer help, uh, need for the health. Um, many projects in Laos are talking about goat, but seem to be in no success. And then we found in our research that there are many challenges. And then what of challenge is talking about the knowledge of the farmer, besides of like a technique. The technique include for the feeding, for the uh, pens, and for the animal health. And mainly what the challenge and problem for the goat is talking about animal health. 
that the animal always have problem with the disease, and then we need to solve this problem as well as we can. Agrofusi has been support for the goat project since 2016. And the first activity what we have done, we have to um, um, stakeholder workshop that discuss together how we can develop for the goat project. And then in 2018, 2019, we have done the activity at the pilot project to support the farmer in two provinces, Vientiane Capital and Savannakhet Province. Project. The pilot project have been starting in 2018 to 2019 that we are working that cooperation between researcher and attention. So in attention, we have worked in national level and we work in the provincial level and also district level. And then we found that we have working together in this really good model between researcher and attention. In total, 11 farmer group have been established and also we have the member, 100, um, 119 member that contribute and working in our group. The Acrofosi Fed 2, and it will be start from this year. It's very important for us, especially for the code project. We will continue with the activity from last Fed that we will provide more information and knowledge for the farmer. We will set up the farmer group and also the maintain the group that we already have. And then we will have the activity for like a, a market link. We will do the pilot pilot activity for the market link that take the products from the farmer group to the market. And then if in the future, what is really we are looking forward is talking about market link to the, in the domestic and also in export. So that it's really important that we need to know about the information about the, the gap between demand and supply. That's why this project, we will continue and we will have activity about the survey, talking about demand and supply in domestic and export about code in Laos. Greetings everyone. My name is Samuel Onyango Mondi from uh, University of Nairobi, Department of uh, Agricultural Economics. Last year, in 2019, I had uh, an opportunity to work uh, with the agri set team members in implementing a project here in Kenya. This was under the social and uh, economic dimensions of smallholder agriculture and food security. This was uh, team one of agri for surface one And uh, selected as a proof of concept was a project uh, titled uh, the workshop project on urban agriculture uh, policy and practice in Kenya. Uh, we collaborated with the University of Nairobi, the Mazingira Institute, and uh, county governments of uh, Kiambu, Nakuru, and Kisumu uh, in implementing this project. The main goal of the project was to initiate a process that would move forward the development and implementation of urban agriculture policies in the small and medium sized cities uh, in Kenya. Uh, the specific objectives were to conduct workshops in selected counties to facilitate discussions among stakeholders uh, on pertinent issues revolving around urban agriculture and also to disseminate research findings on urban agriculture to stakeholders uh, with a view of providing insights for development of policies and, uh, and uh, better practices, uh, farming practices. Another objective was uh, to build on the expertise of Nairobi developed so far in developing and trying to implement urban agriculture policy and activities. Uh, we undertook some uh, initiatives or activities to implement this project and the first one was uh, to organize preparatory meetings with stakeholders to assess their issues, priorities and uh, problems regarding urban agriculture and this will, will, will form part of the discussion during the workshop. We, all ha we also had sensitization of stakeholders about ongoing urban agriculture policies and we also organized uh, uh, workshops where we brought in researchers who presented their research findings to a wide range of stakeholders uh, with the hope that uh, they will utilize this in developing future policies. Current 
Friday and uh, challenge four of agri for surface 2 which is on smallholder agriculture in transforming food systems. We are hoping to implement uh, a project in the three cities and possibly also including Nairobi and this time it's on the broader food system. Uh, with the transformation of food system we want to look at uh, various issues around uh, the food system and this we are doing in collaboration with the county governments and uh, also other ongoing uh, initiatives and processes. For example, FAO uh, is having a project on uh, food systems in Nairobi and uh, Kisumu, and we are hoping that we'll collaborate also uh, in this uh, current uh, agri project. Some of the initiatives that we will undertake include uh, setting platforms and organizing workshops uh, for food systems uh, dialogue and in these sessions present scientific finding, findings uh, to guide the uh, uh, development of the food strategies that uh, various cities and training are trying to implement. And also we are hoping to facilitate uh, knowledge exchange between researchers and county staff. Uh, in addition to this, this time around we will conduct complementary studies on the transformation of food systems on various issues such as uh, food system governance, inclusivity, the gender gaps, uh, public-private partnerships and uh, all these uh, the, uh, the project is intended uh, to take about one uh, to one and a half years. Uh, thank you.